Yeah, I hope you ready for the combat. Steve Nash, I'm about to bring the sun back. Forecast, looking bright for the combat. Can't ignore it, promise you can never sun that. I pray for it, get ready for the combat. Yeah, yeah. I think it's time for the combat. guys welcome back to the channel uh it's push day chest shoulders and a little bit of triceps um i've been going pretty heavy with my dumbbell presses i've been sticking with that for the most part that's what my routine right now consists of um either flat or slight incline uh, i've been working my way up to a hard set of eight to ten reps and so far i've gotten around the 170s where I believe it was like 10 or 12 reps so um, for me it's, it's suddenly just kind of just building on momentum trying to improve every, improve every week I'm not gonna say today I'm gonna hit hit it heavy it all depends on how I'm feeling each day right so like you just saw me I just warmed up everything everything's starting to feel good right now I'm gonna start pushing a little bit of weight through my, my warm-ups my feeder sets see how that goes and that kind of gauge or tell me what I'm doing today. So again, longevity, being smart in my training, and staying injury free is key. So let's get going. is doing his first show ever this year he's doing uh pa muscle august 13th and then hopefully if everything goes well he'll be going to that pro card at the north american in september oh. uh it's actually bumped over to september 1st september 1st so yeah so he's been in here training hard uh we've been kind of collaborating on chest days <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not not by purpose by kind of accident but <laughs> Kind of it was on purpose for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I spot him, he spots me, and it kind of works out well. So I'm learning from the best. It's been a blessing. So honored yeah. to be here with Sean. Yeah. Great. Of course, you got to rock the best shirt in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Get some GK. Get some GK gear. <laughs> no bias. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
so still warming up here. Uh, we did two feet, two or three feeder sets. No, I'm sorry, two to three warm ups. Now I'm working into my feeder sets. Now feeder sets, for anyone knows who follows, I said those are just me kind of just feeling the weight out, see what feels good, what doesn't feel good. I'm only getting three, four, five reps there. That's not a work set, it's a feeder set. Um, so the first feeder set was, I think 100. Did four or five reps there, that was smooth. So everything still feels good. Now I'm going to the 130s. Uh, again, this will be a feeder set here. I'm going to touch these for three or four reps. And then uh, we'll start working from here. Have a little bit of fun. <laughs> but those 150s felt really too too easy, really. And uh, I'm all about I'm all about progression. So I'd rather cut that weight, cut that set early. I think I got two, three reps out of that. Instantly off the first rep, I knew it was too easy for me. It's waste my time. But I still wanted to touch it. Um, so we cut that early. Now move up to maybe 160, 170, see how it feels. And that'll be my first actual working set. <laughs> no pressure. Me a little bit, so first work set on 70s. Focus. 
Just for reference, they're past my knee. They're half, like almost halfway up my thigh. First time touching them, they're a little awkward. They're very big. They're very heavy. They they, they move a lot. Um, they have that really small bottom, so it doesn't sit flat on your legs. So they kind of move. So just be able to balance that and be able to come back on it safely without it going which way. It, it definitely will take me some time to kind of get used to it. Um, I wouldn't say it was a perfect set um, because it wasn't a perfect set. I didn't do it by myself. Um, I didn't have a spot out of the bottom. Um, once I'm able to control it better, be able to do a couple reps without a spot. That's when I'll be happy. Um, for now, again, it's just again just progressing every single week, getting better, getting stronger at the movement. Um, so now, feeling what that weight feels like, and I have a better sense for it. So, moving on to the next movement: uh, barbell incline presses.
small fingers. Today is full of surprises. 405 with the incline for six. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but I'll take it. Moving on to the next movement, cable flies. Woo, a lot of pressing movements, and I want to go in and stretch things out, open things up, and uh, just keep working. Pretty much what it is. Keep working. <laughs> Got it. Legs and labels on top. Yes.
Come on, you got more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sean. Get deeper. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is chest. Today, just three movements. Get the weight pretty heavy, got a lot of volume in today. Um, plus, I do have a second chest day later in the week. Um, I felt good. I felt after those three exercises, the flat bridge, the incline, and the fly, that's all I needed for today. Um, now we're moving on to the shoulders. But you're gonna have to wait for part two of this video for the next video for delt. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. We'll continue to bring it to you all the way through the Olympia. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell another friend. So next time, we'll see you soon. We're out. Yeah, I hope you're ready for the combat. Steve Nash, I'm about to bring the sun back. Forecast, looking bright for the combat. Can't ignore it, promise you can never sun that. I pray for it, get ready for the combat.